What's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore? I'll go first, student loan debt. How is it that our grandparents paid $5 to get an education, but we're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars? Hmm, something fishy is going on here. Paying money to live on planet Earth. I'm sorry, I'm still not over it. Humans are supposed to be the sophisticated, intelligent species, and we're the only ones that have nothing but resources, and our dumbasses can't take advantage of it because of money. Do y'all realize how ridiculous it is that we have to pay to be born and then pay to die? We have to pay to get access to information about the world around us. We have to pay to get to the place that pays us. And then we have to turn around and give that money back. And there are no exceptions. There's no, I'm sorry, I am a child. May I be excused? No, you are not excused. You better figure it out. I'm convinced that humans are really not the most intelligent. We're not the intelligent species, y'all. We're, we're, we're actually quite stupid. You don't see monkeys doing this shit and they have thumbs. <laughs> we have literally figured out how to harness energy from the sun to power our devices. We have mastered air travel, sea travel, land travel, and we still can't figure out how to stop eating each other alive. So I'm gonna do this a little differently. I have a list of things that are scams. So let's go through them. Number one is hospital bills. If you ask them for an itemized list of everything that they are billing you for, they will cut your bill by 50% because they smack so much bullshit on there. Funeral homes. You want me to pay as a grieving family member upwards of 10K to bury somebody because that's what the deceased would have wanted. Absolutely not. Fucking 40 hour work weeks? I'm not even gonna explain that one. Okay, another one. Products geared towards making your hoo-ha smell better. It has a natural scent. You're not supposed to change the scent. If it smells bad, see a doctor. Just a lot of the things that the fashion industry does. For example, men getting huge pockets, but women getting small ones so that people will buy purses. Another one that I'm not gonna explain, organized religion. That's enough, that's all we're saying. Having charity buckets at large chain corporations. These chain corporations have millions and millions of dollars, plenty to donate to these charities, but instead of donating, they ask their paying customers to do it. Another one that I don't feel like I really need to explain is paying for feminine toiletries. You want me to really pay $12.99 for a box of tampons that I will be done with in three days? No. Feeling obligated to buy diamond rings as a token of marriage. So now this isn't really about the tradition of the diamond ring. That's up for debate. If you want a diamond ring still, cool. But the diamond industry is a fucking scam. Um, diamonds aren't as rare as people make them out to be. Um, the parties who are um, responsible for purchasing, receiving, and giving these diamonds are all complicit in its value, which is jack shit, by the way. Fucking car insurance. You're telling me I have no choice. I have to get car insurance because if I don't, that's illegal. That's fine. Cool. I have to have it. And I just have to hope that I don't have to use it because if I do, then my rates will go up. And if I use it too much, y'all might drop me. What? So last but not least, conveniently enough, social media. They collect user data, typically secretly and illegally, um, and then they sell it, um, basically exploiting their user base for profit. So... Yeah. Two week notices. Unless it's in like a written contract, you do not need to give a two week notice to quit a job. It is not your responsibility as the employee to make sure the employer has enough coverage to run whatever business it is. While it's nice and considerate to make sure that like they have enough time to hire somebody new and train them, it's not your fucking responsibility. The idea of a two week notice is especially frustrating when it comes from like an employer who pays you minimum wage and just doesn't care about you at all. They'll treat you like shit for not even a livable wage and then get mad at you if you just quit. Because oh, now they have to find someone else that they can exploit. I think it puts so much more stress and pressure on the person as well because now not only are you quitting, but you have to stay at that place for an extra two weeks after you told everyone you're leaving. So while yes, it is nice to give a two week notice, especially so you don't fuck over your coworkers, it is not not required. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to tell you this. If you unfollow me, so be it, okay? But children, they tell you, they drill it into you. You want to get married, you want to have children. They are our future, they are the world. But they don't tell you. What they don't tell you is they're eating all of your snacks. All of them. They're eating all of the snacks. Also, having a corporate desk job. I said what I said. Oh, goodbye. Do you know what I'm going to say? Do you know what I'm gonna say? Alcohol. 
They've got our society duped so bad that if you want to leave your house and be social, you're expected to drink. Go to dinner at a restaurant, drink. Go to brunch, drink. Go to a concert, drink. Go to a ball game, drink. Go to a wedding, drink. Go to a funeral, drink. They've got yoga classes now accompanied by mimosas. So even when you're trying to better yourself, you should still drink. Big alcohol wants you to think you're having a good time. You're really just spending a shit ton of money and fucking up your physical and mental health. And I don't want to hear the argument of just drink in moderation. Even when I would have one drink the next day, I was significantly more anxious. I was significantly more depressed. And that's probably because it's still a hard substance, even though it's legal. If people don't want to drink, they shouldn't be automatically assumed as alcoholics. It's a hard substance. It's a drug. It's not good for us. But so many people aren't ready to have that conversation. It truly is the only drug that people are willing to die on a hill over. You realize that's what the man, the dude making a shit ton of money off of all this, that's what they want you to do. They want to make us sober folks feel alienated, even though we literally just are over the shit. We're over the bullshit. Traffic. Traffic. Specifically on a freeway and a highway where there's no lights, no stop signs, because go. Go. If everyone's go, go. There's nothing, there's literally nothing stopping you. There's nothing in the way. Go. Why are we backed up right now? Why are we acting like there's something in our way when there isn't? Go. This is what my marketing professor at American University taught us. When you see a bottle of juice, for example, and it says 100% real, do you think it is actually 100% real? No. Never believe these motherfuckers because they can literally put 0.0001% of real orange juice in it and claim that it is 100% real juice. Imagine. And they can do that legally. I don't know how, why, where, who, blah. But again, never trust these motherfuckers. Go buy orange, squeeze that shit, or just buy initially fake one for cheaper anymore. We all talk about how the American healthcare system is a scam, but I truly don't think you all realize how much of a scam it is unless you hurt yourself in another country. A couple weeks ago, I fractured a bone in my foot in Barcelona. I woke up at 7 a.m. because I had a, like a birthday dinner at like 7 p.m. I'm like, I, I'm not a citizen. I don't have insurance here. It's going to take me like 12 hours, but I'm, a, I'm not missing my birthday dinner for nothing. I low-key had Googled the words to make sure I knew how to say it in Spanish. I get there and I just asked just in case. I say English. She immediately finds me someone who speaks English. I tell her I hurt my foot. She's clicking around, clicking around. She has a serious look on her face. She said, I'm so sorry. I think she was just trying to find me loopholes or something. She's like, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to pay 75 euros. I'll pay that. She clicks around, clicks around again, then she runs to the back. My heart is racing because I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not. Maybe I beat the system, but I didn't beat the system. The card machine was down. So it was on the house. Doctor visits, x-ray. Hey, I had to pay for my boot and crutches, like 100 something. Give me my x-ray so I can show the American doctor here. I'm not going to the American doctor here. I'm good. Y'all already hooked me up for free. I wasn't a citizen. In and out in two hours. Sick. It's Medium-sized drinks. There's no such thing as a medium-sized drink. Wanna know what I mean by that? I've worked in the fast food industry for a long time, okay? And I'm here to give you guys a secret. You know how they have a small, medium, and a large size, right? Medium isn't real. Wanna what a medium-sized drink is? A medium-sized drink is just a small drink in a taller cup. That's all that is. If you don't believe me, go to any of the fast food places. Go to go to the go to Chick Fil A or In and Out, two of the most overrated fast food places in the world, and ask for a medium drink and a small drink, right? They're the same exact amount of liquid. I promise you. I promise you. Go check it out. I promise. I think that South Africa is a scam because how the hell is there a country inside a country? Because y'all have Africa and then y'all have South Africa. That, that don't even make sense. So that's my scam. Any DIY skincare, unless you are a smoothie, a banana does not belong on your face. Any product that says it's gonna change your anatomy, that's not gonna work because a serum does not equate to a sandblaster or a scalpel. It's not gonna change the structure of your face. Anything that makes your face too hot, like a steamer or too cold, that's not gonna work because guess what? You're warm blooded and it's not gonna do anything long term. The vast majority of beauty devices on the market, I don't care if it has a little bit of radio frequency or it is a tool that basically looks like it's gonna blast you off into another dimension, odds are it has a more likelihood to 
do that than it does to do anything for your skin. DIY sunscreen, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with people. There's gonna be no sun protection from that. The vast majority of things that say they're gonna regrow your hair, unless it's minoxidil, finasteride, or a very well-studied supplement, not gonna do anything for you. And don't even get me started on face uh, yoga. All this are scams. Gender, gender is a scam. It's really bizarre if you think about it, you come out of your mother's womb and everybody takes a look at your genitals and that decides the entire trajectory of your life. And based on what your genitals look like, um, that determines which set of man-made rules and social norms you have to follow. What your genitals look like when you're born determine everything from how you talk to how you dress to how you sit to who you love. And if you're born with a vagina, you're automatically considered a weaker vessel and therefore have fewer opportunities and get less respect. And that feels kind of like a scam to me, I don't know. The fucking Supreme Court. Not only do you have zero direct say on who gets to be on it, there are no term limits. These old fucks could be shitting in their diapers and you'd still have to do what they say. Oh, but isn't saying that ageist? Yes! Fuck old people, they don't know how to check their email. You're gonna let them run government? Fuck them! They got Candy Crush, they'll be fine. Drinks at the bar. You're telling me I have to pay close to $20 for a tequila soda when I can go get any form of tequila for under 30, probably 25 to $30, but you're making me pay $20 for you to pour out of the same bottle I can get for cheaper? What fee is added to this drink, labor? That's where the tip comes in. Is there a fee I'm paying for the liquid to leave the bottle to get into the drink? And don't even tell me soda water is where the money comes from because soda water literally costs a dollar at the, the grocery store. The amount of things that we're tipping for nowadays is just absolutely insane. Like you'll walk into a bagel shop and they will go to the back, hand you the bagel, didn't do a goddamn thing. They'll still pull out the iPad, do the whole tip song and dance. And you feel terrible because you're like, well, I mean, they're going to know. They're going to see if I tip them or not. So you end up giving them a dollar. It's just like... They didn't fucking deserve that dollar. This is just the worst. Grocery stores, because you mean to tell me that people really had their own gardens with fresh fruit and veggies in their backyard and was able to go pick that. But then like capitalism and superiority took place and then everybody ended up cutting their lawns because only the richest of people had lawns where they didn't need to bear fruit. Um, and then they didn't really want people to spend too much time on doing shit for their livelihood because it wasn't making them money. So then they started implementing laws so that people would cut their lawns and wouldn't be able to grow fresh fruit and veggies. And then they started mass manufacturing it in farms so that they could put paraban waxes and a whole bunch of other bullshit and then cross breed to make new fruits and veggies that don't have seeds in it so that we are unable to actually grow the fruit and veggies that we get. Yeah, that shit's wild as fuck. Oh my God, everything. Um, uh, entering an email, uh, most skincare, the phrase new and improved, ADT alarm systems, traveler's insurance, most makeup, airlines in general, drinking collagen, that one's bullshit, designer labels, recycling in most states, public facing altruism, being a guy's girl, that's a big scam that we all bought into, Apple's choice to have like an alternative charging device, not the universal one. Uh, most baby products. Oh my God, I have to write this down. Climbing a corporate ladder. All my life I was told I'd be successful if I worked hard, got good grades, got a good job, and then start at the bottom in a business and climb all the way up. So I became a partner of a firm or something, having to work 80 to 100 hours to get to where I want to be in life to earn shit until I'm about 45. Why the fuck would anyone do that? Ever since I was little, I'd look at peak hour traffic and see everyone as little bugs waiting in line to go to a job they probably hated, come home at like 8 o'clock, yell at their wives or husbands, go to bed and do it all again the next day. And I swore that is not the way to live life. Have you ever caught the train in the morning? When you get on, everyone looks miserable. Everyone's looking down at their phones, everyone's sneezing, coughing, this, that, or everyone stinks of body odour in summer. And it just looks, that's not life. Can't be. And then you what, get four weeks a year and you have to ask for time off? <clears throat> Paying to do your taxes. If you got complicated taxes and you own a boat and you own a home and you got a dog running a clothing factory, I'm not talking about you. But for those of us that go to work and go home, you shouldn't be paying to do your taxes if you're doing them by yourself. Turbo Tax, Tax Act, all of that where it say free and then by the time you fill out all the information it's not free don't go there no more this is where you're gonna go turbotaxsucksass.org go to this website 
there's a bunch of links on here but just click on this first one that says free tax usa and you can do the taxes just like you do them on h and r block and all them sites but they're not going to charge you use this save this for tax season next year 